In Roseville Area Schools, we have a long and proud history of providing strong educational programs, a talented, caring staff, and a shared vision of excellence. Our parents give us high marks on the return on their investment in our schools. To maintain the education our community expects and our students deserve, our school board unanimously approved placing two school funding requests on the November 2nd ballot. Question one would renew our existing operating levy before it expires with no tax increase to residents. This renewal would lessen but not eliminate major cuts in the future, and it would not allow us to address key areas identified by our community that impact our students. After a year of planning and review, the school board determined that renewing the levy alone was not enough. Question two would increase our levy for the first time in 15 years. With a net tax increase of $22 per month for the average homeowner, the additional revenue would fund key areas such as lowering class sizes, investing in student mental health, maintaining academic programs, expanding career pathways to better prepare students for various careers after graduation, and helping maintain our overall financial stability. Operating levies are an important source of local revenue for schools. The vast majority of Minnesota school districts have voter-approved levies to help pay for important school operating costs, including academic programs, classroom materials, and staff. But our current levy is among the lowest of comparable and neighboring school districts. Why are these requests coming to voters now? There are multiple reasons. State funding has not kept pace with inflation for nearly 20 years. Critical special education programs cost us nearly $10 million more each year than we receive from the state and federal governments. And we've already cut more than $8 million from our budget in the past eight years. If these levy requests fail, there would be significant cuts across the district. Staff would be cut at all levels, academic and support programs would be cut, and fees would increase. The district's financial health would also take a big hit, leaving it exposed in case of any emergency. Our job is to provide the best education possible to prepare our students for life after high school because we believe our students are vital to our community and our collective future. Please learn all you can about these important votes and be sure to vote on or before November 2nd.